Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. And this is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? Today is Wednesday the 19th of April 2017 and I've got a latte with me at the moment, very excited about it, it's a vanilla latte if you care, and a croissant, and it's about 7.30pm and I'm on my way to um, go to the other Palace Theatre, which formerly used to be known as the St James Theatre, it's in Victoria, it's um, kind of like a small theatre, it's not like one of those big ones, sorry, I think I can hear noise, um, but um, yeah, I haven't been to it since they changed the name and they kind of rebranded it as the other Palace Theatre. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like now. I think the production that I'm going to be seeing tonight is only the second show that they have in the theatre since they changed the name. And it's called Whisper House. So I'm looking forward to it a lot because not only does it sound exciting, like it's got incredible creators and a very, very good cast. It's got Diane Pilkington in it and I'm a big fan of Diane Pilkington's work. I've seen her in loads of shows since she was in Wicked back in 2007. Like that's the first time I saw her and you know, she's had a great career and I've been lucky enough to see her in pretty much all the shows that she's done since Wicked so looking forward to seeing her in this looking forward to seeing the show itself I'm just getting closer now so my eyes are watering a bit I don't know why probably because it's a bit cold I don't know but anyway I thought I'd bring you along with me because it'd be nice for both of us to see what the show's like together and obviously I'm not going to be filming the show but you know what I mean like telling you about it experiencing it together having a look at the theatre together you know now that it's been rebranded and everything I'm just on my way to meet my friend Rukaya who's I think already at the theatre because I'm running a bit late and yeah it's going to be a good time there you go that's the theatre as you can see over there it says the other palace theatre. It actually looks really cool. I like what they've done with the word there, how they've just like incorporated into the word other. I have spotted a require and I'm ooh, ooh. <laughs> I nearly died there. Yeah. So this is the um, situation. I think, yeah, castle. <laughs> Rebecca loves it when I say the word situation. Am I Rebecca? <gasps> Can I, I start crying? You, Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> Rukaya. Joke aside, your names sound very similar when you think I about it. I mean, no, I like Rukaya. I can be your London Rebecca now. Sure, Rukaya is my Rebecca now. Um, but Sorry, this, Rebecca. this is the. <laughs> um, so this this dude um, also wrote Spring Awakening, Spring Awakening. Yeah, didn't he? Yeah, because that's what I said to you, didn't I? I was like, oh yeah, he did that. Which so. is exciting, although I've never seen Spring Awakening, have you? I've seen like, I'm just going to get in the shop with you over here. <laughs> Go on then. Um, I've seen like an amateur production. Okay, so do you like not, it? Um, yeah, I mean I don't really remember much of it, this was like a few years ago now. But okay. I, I figured like the vibe of that, if it's similar, and especially with the cast, I was like, it's got to be good. I read some right? news about this uh, yesterday and yeah. it's, it's, everyone's saying really good things about it. Because it was their first so. night literally last night. Because oh, I was thinking like if we wow. were like, at yeah. night, that would We could have gone. But, oh, well. There you go. So this is the cast cool. situation. Direction, cast. everyone. Well, let's go down I actually. Know. I don't know these people. I know everyone else. Yeah, but this person's quite awesome, isn't she? So you know. I thought you might say quite old. Sam, <laughs> obviously not. She's awesome. <laughs> she was a bit rude. <laughs> so these are our tickets. There's Antonio and Jose, who are also ironically just somehow there tonight with us. We miss that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think we 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 we're stalking each other. <laughs> Are we, and we somehow sat next to each other as well, aren't we? Yes, yes. Accidentally. Are you looking forward to it? I really am, yeah. Good cast, right? It is amazing. You as well, Antonio? You go see shows all the time? Yeah. I love it. And of course, Rakaya is excited as well. I'm excited for life. So this is the show that we're seeing. You can see some pictures from, I think, the rehearsal. Um, Whisper House here. It's on from the 6th of April until the 27th of May. Starts at 8 o'clock. Definitely does not finish at quarter to four. I think that's wrong. I think this is probably more what is going to happen. We've got some leaflets here from the other Palace Theatre. Also, I really like this area here that they've put where it says share and people can like put their thoughts uh, on the shows that they see. So like, the other Palace is great, love the show, blah blah blah, the whole custom is. I think that's just really cool, especially because nowadays with social media, so if everybody wants to just share the, like, their immediate thoughts on things, it's a nice way to kind of display people's thoughts on here. And um, this whole area as well, I think it's really has changed now. Um, the, the tables and the restaurants were a bit different when it was in the Theatre. I think Maya said that she thinks that they're trying to pick like appeal more to a younger audience, which is really nice because the more younger people go to the theatre, the better. Anyway, it's 10 to 8 now. I think we're going to try and slowly head to the auditorium. <laughs> Yeah, let's see if it actually works though. No, it doesn't, so. What does that normally do? It's supposed to say What's Barry, that? a lot of them are not working at the moment. Oh, yeah, we'll get it. So is it just Barry, like hello! Yeah. How are you? Sam, you know everyone! Well, yeah! <laughs> oh, you're right! <laughs> So this is the lovely view that we have right now. Really nice view actually, isn't it? Are you? I'm happy, thank you for the tickets. You got these, are you now using your Oreos, loving life? <laughs> We've got um, 
Oh, you're happy oh, yes. with your view. You're going to hear me crunching to the side. If you don't know, guys, me and Jose used to work at the Prince Edward Theatre together. Now, we're loving life. Oh, how long? Like, almost a year? Really? Okay, maybe it was a year. We went, we, like, from like July, was it? Yeah. Around July to yeah. the next month. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. July to March was when we were there together, and I always say that you're like one of like, somehow. It was very intense, yeah. It was very intense, but it yeah. felt like yeah. five years. <laughs> and I also like Jose's like the male version of me because we both love Disney. We both, um, so, so we also had like some food. Yeah, yeah. And like, food as well. We're very yeah. picky, we exactly. don't eat the same thing. <laughs> we don't eat like ex exotic things, so that's kind of how we yeah, first bonded. Yeah, more than ingredients and a bit of uh, Yeah. <laughs> so that's how our friendship started. The show's about to start now. Seen a bit. <laughs> so it's the interval now. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Not too bad, basically. Good to see you again. And you? Yeah. This is Barry, guys. I Hello. used to work with him as well at the Pizza Theatre for a very short amount of time, like a month. I thought you were actually taking a photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vlog. I really it's really good. Have you seen it? I haven't seen it yet. Okay. I will be. I would recommend that so far. It's good. Good. That's what, that's what we like. <laughs> so that whole situation was hilarious. Barry and Makai are still there now talking to each other, getting to know about each other and all that. Um, I got the program for Whistle House um, just because it's, it's a really good show and I'm really enjoying it so far, even though it's only the interval. It's one of the most unique things I've seen and I'm, I'm going to talk about it more after the show when I get home. But really, really good so far. I was at the marketing for here as well. So we are coming back to our seats. I'm very excited for Act 2 because Act 1's been amazing so far. And um, the stage, the stage, actually, look at it. I just think it's incredible. The sets it just looks very, very clever. Love how they've done everything with the, with the band on stage. But um, yeah, I'll speak to you afterwards. <laughs> The show just finished, guys, and wow, wasn't it was incredible? Really good. Yeah, really, really enjoyed it. And as you can see, the set is just insane. Like, it's the just set amazing. was fantastic. Act two was just a lot more dramatic than For Act sure. one. Yeah, shorter, but just like emotions went everywhere. Like it was more like story in Act one, and then like pow, yeah. Pow. My heart honestly like yeah, I don't know, I, I still like haven't like come back. Point. Which like, is which just is you know, yeah, credit to the actors and obviously like everything the, the we here. actually are. Joke aside guys, we are out of the auditorium now and I'm still <laughs> feeling a little bit Lord have whoa. genuine mercy. mercy. <laughs> These are all my um <laughs> sayings. Are you going? Bye guys. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a hug. Nice to see you, Monday. Nice to see you, nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Antonio. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Um, it was such a good show and I'm still like a bit, not overwhelmed, just like out of breath because of, um, yeah, shell shock is probably a very good word actually, well done. So, yeah, I do know them. Oh, who were they? Oh, they're just my friends. <laughs> um, they weren't in the show. But, um, <laughs> yeah, um, this is goodbye to Kaya for now. Well, you'll probably see her again in the vlog soon. I'll talk to you more tonight. Yeah. So guys, I am home now, as you can probably see from the background, and um, I want to talk a bit more about uh, Whisper House, which I saw tonight, obviously. I really, really like the show so much that I'm probably going to go and see it again at some point before it finishes its run. And I'm going to tell you why, very, very briefly, because I don't want this video to be too long. But basically, Whisper House is set during World War II, or like around that time, and it's set in America in like a lighthouse situation. And the two main characters, I guess, of the story are uh, a child called Christopher and his aunt who's called Lily I believe and they're living together because the child's parents died years ago and stuff like that so the child has to live with his aunt the aunt hasn't had the best life so she's quite haunted I guess she is in the best place basically without giving too much away and yeah we kind of follow their story pretty much there are of course other characters in the show as well including some ghosts like there are actual ghosts in the show which uh, I thought was quite interesting actually I've had a quick scroll through the program and um, it's very interesting because the person who wrote the book and lyrics, Kyle Jarrow, has written a little piece here, there you go, just like about the show and uh, why he wrote it and all that. It's called Uncertain Times and it's in the kind of first few pages of the program. And as you can see he briefly mentions uh, Trump, which obviously President Trump is the President of America at the moment. We all know everything about 
how he became president and what he's done and whether or not you support the guy which I obviously don't. He's had a lot of questionable policies since he became president and that's why um, the story of this musical A Whisper House is actually in a really weird way quite familiar and relevant to the world that we live in now like it's really sad that it's relevant but it is a bit relevant because Whisper House touches a bit on like racism and xenophobia and political stuff and obviously it's set during like World War II so yeah it, it's behind the whole story there are some more kind of I guess political things they can take away from it which I thought was very fascinating. Speaking of Kyle Jarrow the guy who wrote the book and lyrics I thought the book was really good so were the lyrics very very good script. He's obviously teamed up with Duncan Sheik who wrote the music and lyrics like they helped with the lyrics. I thought the songs were good um, none of them were like incredibly catchy or anything but they were very well done especially with the theming of the show and the style of the music as well like it's kind of like rock music I guess I mean I've never really seen any of Duncan Sheik's work before unfortunately I haven't seen Spring Awakening or American Psycho which I think was in the West End a couple of years ago. I didn't get a chance to see that either. But yeah, I thought his his music was great. Like, uh, you know, again, not incredible, not something that I'd like go and listen to, but for the show, it worked really well. It's directed by Adam Lenson. I thought the direction was great. The sets are incredible. Like the other palace theatre, I, I still wanted to call it the St. James, but obviously now it's turned into the other palace. But anyway, it's quite a small space. Physically, there's not much. Like the stage is quite small. It's a small venue. However, every time I've been to that theatre, with every show I've seen, it's been incredible like it's amazing how they're able to transform this small stage into so many different kind of worlds and like places just based on whatever musical is in that theatre like I just, I just think it's amazing and with this show as well Whisper House the set was great really really clever how they done it I really enjoyed it so shout out to the set and costume designer Andrew Riley let's quickly talk about the cast as well so um, the first one I want to talk about is Simon Bailey who played one of the ghosts. I wasn't quite sure what he was meant to be in the musical until like, I don't know, maybe about 15 minutes in or something. At first I just thought he was the narrator but um, he is meant to be some kind of ghost and I most recently saw Simon Bailey in um, Jersey Boys actually literally like last month. I've seen him in quite a few things and he's always been a fantastic performer and his voice is very very good for this part. He's got an amazing like rocky voice so it goes really well for the role that he's playing in this and I thought it was really good. Very spooky indeed which obviously is what his character's meant to be. Then opposite to him we had Neve Perry as the female ghost. Now I've always wanted to see Neve in something and I've never actually had a chance to see her in any shows. So I was very pleased that I got to see her in this and she she was really good as well. I loved her costume and her makeup and everything and the way she moved around the stage was just very haunting. Again like I think she did a great job considering she's playing a ghost. At some points I, I couldn't stop watching her because I think she, she just she was very gripping her performance even if she wasn't necessarily talking or singing or anything if she was just like walking around the stage. She, she just yeah really really great performance from her. Simon Lipkin is in the show, a theatre legend. Uh, he played the role of the sheriff and he doesn't actually kind of come into the story until maybe about 15 minutes in or 20 minutes in but I thought he did a great job as well. His character is quite interesting. He was funny at times but then like in act two you know in the very serious moments did really well as well. This is actually probably the most serious role I've seen Simon Lipkin play because I mean, I've seen him in like Avenue Q, I've seen him in Rock of Ages. He normally tends to play funnier characters so it was great to see him in something kind of different. Nicholas Goh played the role of Yashu Hiro who was the Japanese Japanese character um, in the story and I'd never seen him in anything but um, he was really good as well. Very good acting, very believable and convincing in his part and yeah I look forward to hopefully seeing him in other shows in the future. Then we had the part of Christopher who tonight was played by an actor called Fisher Costello Rose. This is what he looks like if you want to see a picture of him. There's two of them that play the role obviously because they're children and um, this is the one that we had tonight. What a great name by the way like Fisher Costello Rose. I love it. He was great. He was very very good. I've seen a lot of child performers throughout my time as a theatre fan so I've kind of gone past the point of being like too wild when I see children perform because I'm so used to it now I'm like wow there are some children out there who are incredibly talented so it doesn't wow me as much but uh, Fisher like his performance was genuinely very good so if you go and see the show and you get him you know you're very lucky but I'm sure the other boy as well Stanley Jarvis is probably going to be at just as good and lastly <laughs> let's talk about the main reason I decided to go and see the show in the first place and that's Diane Pilkington. As I mentioned in the beginning of this vlog uh, I've known of Diane Pilkington for about 10 years now literally. I first saw her in Wicked in 2007 and I've seen her in so many different shows since. I do genuinely believe that she's one of the best performers that we have in the UK in the West End. Every single show that I've seen her in and she's done uh, like a variety of different kinds of shows. She's not only done the same kind of stuff. She's always been incredible in all the shows that she's done so I was very looking forward to seeing her in this and wow <laughs> 
she really was amazing. She plays the character of Lily, who's the aunt of Christopher. And um, I, I mean, I didn't really know much about the show when I went into it, but literally, like a few minutes in, uh, Diane Pickington's character Lily managed to kind of grip me in, and I like really cared about her character, and I was very curious to learn more about her character. And that's down to her incredible acting. Like I've always said that one of Diane's like best points about performing is her acting. Her acting is just on another, another level, and uh, yeah, it really shows in this. It's a very kind of complex character. Lily's character. I don't want to give too much away again, but as I mentioned earlier, she has like been through a few things. She's not the happiest person in the show. Um, life just isn't too easy for her, and I thought that Diane Clickington did a great job in showing that. Even though honestly all the cast members were great, I do think that acting-wise, Diane Clickington's um, performance was just that little bit above everyone else's. Like, it just stood out. Like, I think anybody watching the show, when they leave, Diane's performance is probably going to be the one that they remember the most, because it, it, it was just incredible. Really, really good. Like, she just kind of really made you feel for her and know exactly you know what she is and what she wanted and that's what great acting is like she was completely transformed into this character and that's when I know like when I sorry about the text message distraction over <laughs> when somebody is um, able to transform themselves so much into a character that I honestly when I'm watching them I forget that they're a person playing a character that's when I know that they're like they've done an incredible job as an actor so and that's how I felt with Diane acting and performance tonight so there you go the whole cast though and the whole team is incredible and I'm very aware that I've used the word incredible a lot in this vlog so sorry about that but basically if you can't tell I definitely recommend you to go and see The Whisper House at the Other Palace Theatre. It's not something that I think everyone would enjoy like it's quite a specific style of musical. It actually kind of reminded me of Murder Ballad which is a show that I saw around September time last year at the Arts Theatre. It's mainly songs after songs after songs with very short bits of dialogue in between but I think it really worked well for this particular story. It just made it more spooky and the set's amazing as I said earlier and the fact that the orchestra's on stage as well. Really really cool. It's on until the end of May I believe and as I said earlier I'm probably going to go back at some point because I want to take my mum to see it. And I think you should too like me and Rukaya paid about £15 for our ticket so it is possible to get cheap tickets for the show and especially if you go like midweek or for a matinee I'm sure you can get some cheap tickets and it's definitely worth it if you love theatre or musical theatre definitely go and see the show like you you won't be disappointed it's an incredible cast as you can see like some of these performers have been in so many different shows over the years and you know it's, it's, a, it's a great team so there you go I've been rambling on for too long <laughs> but that's the end of my video also it was just really nice to go to the other palace again like I hadn't been to that theatre in a while and it's I would say it's probably one of my favourite kind of small theatres and I'd love to go back and see other shows in it in the future. So there you go, Whisper Whisper House. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, leave comments down below if you're going to go and see it or if you're interested to go and see it, if you have any questions about it. And I'll see you next time. Bye!